in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple stop motion animation video on Canva for your products. And we are going to do everything for free. The only product that I use frequently are my essential oils. So I'm just going to use one of the bottle as an example. And this is not a sponsored video post. So if you are ready, let's go to my computer. Okay, once you have created your Canva account, this is what you see and this is your dashboard. What we are going to achieve is this video. So first things first, we are going to go ahead and create a design. So choose an Instagram post if you want a square size. But if you want um, a portrait size, then you can choose Instagram story. Uh, for this tutorial, we are going to choose Instagram post. Alright, as you can see on the left hand side, you will see all the templates that you can choose from. But for this tutorial, we are not going to choose any template. We are going to start from scratch. So let's close and hide this first. So this is your blank canvas. You can change the color of your canvas. So I am going to choose my branding color. So my brand color is uh, pink and green. So I'm going to choose the pink. All right. And I'm going to upload the photo of the orange essential oil that I've already taken uh, a photo earlier. So it will go under the uploads once I uploaded that. Alright, so this is the bottle that I've already taken a photo. If I'll, uh, You can also resize or you can also crop this uh, photo to a smaller size. So all you need to do is just click on the crop and just resize it a little bit. Crop on the sides and at the bottom. Once you're done, just click on done. Alright, you have a smaller space for this photo. Okay, so we are going to put this one side. And we are going to animate this canvas. Alright, why do we need to animate this canvas? Is because we want to have the movement for each photo in the video itself. For every photo, it will stay for about 0 0.3 seconds before it moves to the um, next uh, picture or the next movement. Alright, so we are going to choose any of the page animation. And we are going to change the timing to 0 0.3 seconds. So you can either click on the slider or you can go ahead and type on this box and click on and tap on enter. Okay, so you see here you will have 0 0.3 seconds. So to move from one slide to another slide or from one photo to another photo, you need to duplicate this image so that it has a movement of flow. Alright, so all you need to do is just click on this um, three uh, buttons or three dots, click on duplicate and you will see the same thing that the anim animation is on 0 0.3 seconds. Okay, but we do not Actually, we do not want to have any, any animation in this canvas. So after you have already duplicated and you have already edited the timing, so you just go ahead and click on the canvas and click on page animations back to none. Okay, same goes for the first one. Click back to none the animation timing will still stay. So uh, this is one hack that you can actually uh, take note of. If you want to have an animation, uh, stays animation within the um, each canvas, you can go ahead and do this by prompting 0 0.3 seconds. All right, so now we have the first canvas. Okay, I am going to duplicate this. All right, and... I am going to delete off this uh, first picture. So the first canvas, I will have an empty canvas. So then I am going to duplicate this empty canvas. And I'm going to search for an element called orange. 
Okay, so there are a lot of free elements that you can find. Uh, of course, if you're actually using the paid uh, pro account, then you have more options. But uh, if you are just using a free account, then you can uh, choose the one that has the free um, logo at the bottom here. So I'm going to choose this. I'm going to close. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So the first movement for the second canvas, I am going to make sure that this orange is not visible. So I'm going to move it all the way to the um, out, out of the canvas. Now I need to then duplicate this and bring the orange in little by little. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this, bring in, duplicate this again. So I can also move around the orange so that it have a little bit of a fun movement attached to it. So this I am going to enter, duplicate it again. I'm going to move this again. I am going to roughly move um, the orange somewhat in the middle. Okay, one more time. One more duplicate and that's it and I'm going to move it to zero degree. Okay, so now we have, if you look at the bottom here, you have the movement of the orange. Okay, and you see that from one and two, it seems like it's about the same, right? So what you can do is you can just delete one of it. So we have like one empty canvas over here and then it will start to move in. So what I'm going to do next is to make this um, orange essential oil to appear on top of this orange. So I want to have a little bit of movement in the sense that I am going to make sure that it is smaller and then it will um, move from the back of the orange towards to the front of the orange. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is I can just copy paste this and Put it in the one of the uh, canvas that has the orange that has not been completed inside. So I'm going to make this orange bottle smaller. I'm going to put it over here just roughly at this side. And I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to add into the slide 8. And I'm going to move, uh, I mean, I'm going to enlarge the essential oil. Copy this and enter it again. And I'm going to enlarge it again. And then it's going to move here a little bit. Alright, so um, this is what I want it to stay like this. But... I want to let this essential oil to be at the back position so that it doesn't see it appearing uh, at first. So what I mean by that is if you look at the bottom here, once the orange comes in, the essential oil bottle will only comes in when it uh, merge, I mean when it's enlarged a little bit. Or you can also, you know, like make this a little bit smaller. You can, you can even enlarge it even uh, slightly bigger and bigger and bigger and until it will fall like this. Okay, then I want to also include another element, which is, I'm going to search again, orange. I'm going to add in a little bit of animation involving this animation video or stop motion video. So I'm going to choose this, alright, close this first. Okay, I am going to choose this and also the same thing, I'm going to hide this at the back. But before I start hiding, I'm going to position this first and open this and duplicate this. Okay, and make it larger. Alright, and duplicate it again and make it larger again. And that's it. This is how I want it to be. So, the uh, back, back to the canvas number 9. 
this leaf I am going to position it uh, backwards so it's actually appearing just behind the bottle this is the same thing position it backward same thing for this please position this backward so you see the arrangements is in such a way that you can actually do a preview right so that's how it will move out right because there's a two extra slides over here you actually appear so from here you can then add in more um text or more uh, details so for example this orange essential oil is a new scent and you want to uh, promote it to your audience so you can have like a new text on this particular canvas to indicate that uh, hey take a look that we are going to have a, we are going to release a new scent soon so what you can do is you can add in um, text you can click on the canvas and type the letter T it will come out the text function over here you can drag out for a bit and you can enlarge it first all right so let's say I want to have new as a text and also I want to have a little bit of letter spacing okay and I'm going to change to my branding font all right and make it bigger okay so i am also going to copy this and bring this down all right copy this again and bring this down and copy this again and bring this down so as you can see, the text are at the front of the graphic, but we want to have it at the very back. But before that, we want to change the opacity of this uh, font or the text. So we're going to go ahead and change the opacity. So maybe about 29. We are going to have some animation in such a way that for every uh, canvas it will appear like in black color so that it has a lot of movement so before we do that we can actually um, bring this all the fonts uh, all the text to the back send to the back and then we can duplicate this all right so once you duplicate this maybe the first one we want to have let's say in black color and we change the opacity to um, 100 all right so the rest are all in white and then when it comes to the second one you change the second one to black change back the opacity to 100 all right now you duplicate again so actually you can you can duplicate first and then you change the color right so i'm going to duplicate and i'm going to change the color so change this back to white with 29 percent opacity oops 29 all right and then this is the third one so i am going to change this to black Okay, with opacity 100 all right and then this one is the last one we'll change this to black and opacity 100 and for this words will be white opacity 29 okay oops uh, let me change that again Alright, okay, so now you see the movement of uh, black, 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 white, and then the second letter, and then the third letter, and then the fourth, uh, as in the fourth word. So the first new word, second new word, third new word, and the fourth new word. But I want it to um, have another round of movement. So what I can do is, I can duplicate this again, and then we move this right after the last new duplicate this 
move it to after 16 duplicate this move this after 17 and duplicate the last one move it to the after 18 all right so after this canvas number 18 i want to let all the text to be in white so that it just stays like that so i'm going to change this to back to opacity 29 and i'm going to stay like this for another uh, four more slides so that it stays around there so i'm going to delete this i'm going to delete this and yeah that's it so now you can take a look at how it looks like. Alright, you have already created your stop motion video and what's beautiful about Canva is you can include music into your uh, canvas or into your video. So all you need to do is you can go ahead and click on the audio. Right, you can choose if you have a free account there are a few music or a few audio that you can choose from which are free but if you were to see the crown icon then that's a pro account and you can just click on this audio so that it includes into your canvas so once you have already clicked on the audio the canvas will appear that you have an audio or music attached to it Okay, let's hide this first. As you can see, this video is about 9 seconds. So Canva is uh, pretty smart enough to actually just choose the first 9 seconds that you can use for this video. You can also drag to where you want the 9 seconds audio to be. So let's say I want it to be in this middle part. <laughs> So that's how it's going to sound like if you choose that portion. So it's really, really amazing. Canva is really amazing to actually let us do this within their app itself or within their platform itself. You can just drag and where you want the music to start and where the music uh, where the music will stop okay so if you want to preview how the video is like with the audio you can just go ahead and click on the play icon at the top here so yes that's it so that's how you can actually uh, upload your audio or choose any audio that is available in canva to import it into your animation video in Canva. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to see you creating stop motion videos for your products in your next video content. See you in the next one.